welcome to the beginning. It all started with Australopithecus. They existed 1.8 to 4 million years ago. Back then, we only had two things to protect us, our fists and our mind. His mind had not fully developed enough to begin to construct and use his own weapons. Therefore, he used what was provided to him to help protect himself from predators. Since Australopithecus lacked advanced tools to hunt his own food, he was mostly a vegetarian, although he did scavenge meat from time to time. Australopithecus had not yet discovered how to harness fire and use it to his benefit. He was most likely afraid of it. So let us review. For tools, Australopithecus only used things such as rocks or branches to protect itself. Because Australopithecus had not yet learned to walk completely upright, his hands were not completely free to begin to build and manipulate his own tools. Let us continue on to our next humanoid, Homo habilis. Homo habilis existed 1.8 to 1.6 million years ago. Homo habilis was the first of the humanoids to begin to actually develop tools for protection. Homo habilis used stone to fashion and design his own weapons. Although Homo habilis walked on two legs more than Australopithecus, it still did not spend 100% of its time. This allowed Homo habilis to finally progress into following food sources and becoming hunters and gatherers. They were beginning to progress from scavenger to predator. Homo habilis developed an understanding of fire and used it to his benefit, although he could not yet create it. So, a look at the tools used by Homo habilis reveals anything that could be fashioned out of stone, Homo habilis made to protect himself. Next up, Homo erectus. Homo erectus existed anywhere between 500,000 years ago to 1.6 million years ago. Homo erectus earned his name because he was finally spending almost 100% of his time on two legs. A larger brain capacity allowed for Homo erectus to begin to build even more various tools. Homo erectus also accomplished something that the previous humanoids were not capable of doing. He created fire. So, tools used by Homo erectus were advanced spears and perhaps even more advanced weapons. He also created a variety of different tools, such as the one seen here. Now let us move on to the second to last stage. Homo sapiens. Homo sapiens existed 30,000 to 500,000 years ago. They had begun to closely resemble humans more than their previous ancestors. They were remarkably efficient and for tools and weapons, they fashioned bone needles, fish hooks, and even animal skin clothing. And finally, last but certainly not least, Homo sapiens sapien. Skipping straight ahead to modern day Homo sapiens sapiens. We look at the tools they use. They can now build and manipulate fire to their will, hunt with advanced weapons called guns, and thrive together in societies. Not only that, but they have now also created computers and machinery for tasks they themselves can't do or they're just too lazy to do. So finally, this marks the end of mine and Derek's presentation on the evolution of tools. Hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for watching. I appreciate your acting skills, big. Give me a paw. Good. Aww. 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 Aww.